we're here today to talk about the San Francisco Archdiocese and their lack of transparency and to um, unveil a list that, we've, that we have put together because the Archbishop will not. Um, having a list of predators is a very important um, feature for, for survivors who are still trying to understand what happened to them and also for safety so that priests who are living who have been accused become known to the families who go to church in the, in the Archdiocese. San Francisco is one of those places. It's one of the most important, oldest dioceses in the whole United States. It's an archdiocese. It's the seat of power for the western United States and, and everywhere else within this, within this region, lists have been published, but the, the, the Archbishop of San Francisco will not publish a list. Um, and so we think it's really important to get this list out, to get it published, to update it, um, to, to, in, to provide information to victims and their families. We find that whenever we publish a list, uh, we get phone calls from victims who didn't know that they were not the only one, um, and it provides them with a, with a level of comfort, and in some cases helps them decide to come forward and get help. You won't even have enough honor and respect to make a list and be transparent. The website of the archdiocese, and they look and they might call somebody and they'll find nothing. Well, you know, we're talking about the program. For your sins of Never ending, yeah. It's affected, it affected my whole life, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't have nightmares of it, but my childhood was ruined forever. Can't repeat that, so. So you're going to stick out here and tell get justice for everybody. Get justice for all the survivors that need it to tell this church if it's a, a real Catholic or Christian pace that they need to follow in the footsteps that they say they're following in, and that's honesty.